Good morning. It's Disney travel day, Florida travel day, and the cat is trying to murder my luggage. So it's about four in the morning and we are going to be leaving for the airport in about 30 minutes. Kelly's taking me. And um, I check in to Universal Lowe's Royal Pacific today. My brain is not yet at full capacity, or it is at capacity. I don't know, it's early in the morning. Royal Pacific. I had a rental car. Long story that didn't work out, so I had to Uber, and it has thrown a wrench in my entire plan. But I'm gonna roll with it. I'm gonna get myself sorted out and figure it out. I don't have my room yet, so I'm waiting, but I think I'm gonna grab some food and I might go to the park. I don't know. But I stored my luggage. I just kinda wanna like walk around and see what there is to see. successfully called budget and cancel my reservation and got no refund. Um, I'm just waiting now to kind of see when I get my room, I'm trying to decide what to do, you know. to enjoy the fact that I'm here yet. So, I'm checked in. In front of car things taken care of. And now, I'm just trying to soak it in. I'm here, yay. So, that's good. I'm here. I don't even know anything else. I did go and get a water at the marketplace thingy, but I need to eat something, but nothing to do had really looked appealing. So I think I might head over to City Walk a little bit. I believe 
this is the pool area. services or the luggage service. So the pool is not happening for me right now. Maybe later. I have three nights here. So I'm just trying to decide what to do with myself. I just don't know. In typical me fashion, I just walked right by the exit by the entrance for the water taxi and then wondered, where is it? Where is it? I'll try by it. I still, I'm not entirely sure where it is. I think it's right here. I think this is it. We're gonna find out. Yep. There it is. You can also do the walkway. He said it was like a five to seven minute walk. So that's not too bad. Which my vlogging muse, Disco Liz, like talks about all the time. We're gonna go and I will have an appointment later this week for sure. The Handcrafted Bread Company? I don't know. I don't know what it's called. So I broke down and bought a fuel rod because my phone was dying and I didn't have my battery packs with me because I with my suitcase. But I am at the bread box, not the Handcrafted Bread Company or whatever nonsense I see. So I'm just waiting for my food. guys oh the lights are all the way over here so here I am in all my glory um cups for water some soaps and whatnot some tissues towels and then we have a giant mirror so I can be critical of my body good idea oh and my phone hey then we have oh nice walk-in shower the commode, as Tim Tracker and my grandma always say. Okay, heading out to the left. From the bathroom, we have this nice closet here. Lots of room. Safe, if you need that. Iron and ironing board. Extra pillows up there. And we have, I have a king size bedroom. I did not realize this was gonna be as fancy as it is, but I noticed that the nightstands both have plugs built into the drawer, 
or above the drawer, I guess. So USB and regular US North America plugs. Some cool fire dancer Polynesian art. Nice accent wall. Beautiful dresser. I'm assuming there is a mini fridge, cooler type situation. Yes. Oh, and a little Keurig with some coffee stuff. So yeah, this is just cold enough for latest store beverages. If you have medical needs, you might need to acquire about or inquire about a different one. Little desk, some USBs, another mirror in which I can be critical of my body. <laughs> Here's the view out my window. It's quite nice. Um, I think that's where I pulled up with the Uber to her today. Right there. Of course, this is what I'm watching. This is a fat roll and this is a stretch Okay, so I'm finally settled in my room. It's about it's three o'clock on the dot. So two o'clock back home, which feels weird because it feels like it's a lot later because I've been up since about 3 a.m. Um, I just talked to my mom and my sister and Ellie were over there. And my mom's like, are you sure this was a good idea to go by yourself? And I'm like, oh yeah, it was a great idea. And I'm like, I don't know. I feel like it'll be fine. The rental car thing was rough. It was rough and I'm still not over it because it really did like put a crimp in my plans. And it just made me mad. It made me mad. It wasn't right. But I did call. I got my money refunded, which should show up in three to five days. I'm figuring it out. I figured it out. I Ubered here. I'm sure I'll Uber to Disney on Thursday and then Uber back to the airport next weekend. So, or a weekend from, a week from next weekend. But um, just kind of a recap what happened today. I did fly business class. Yeah, and so they provide you with a meal and they gave me a choice of um, fruit and cheese and yogurt, I think, or a cheese omelet with sausage. So I went with that. It was mid at best. It had some like little country potatoes. Mm. Ate a little bit of it. I did go to Einstein Brothers when I first got to the airport, which was about before 5 a.m. and I was starving. So, um, did eat this morning. But then by the time I got here, I was starving and like chugged, not chugged, but drank a whole bottle of water. Had a really good tuna sandwich at the bread box. It was really, really good. And I ate about half of it um, before I just couldn't eat anymore. And got a couple of snacks when I went down to request my luggage be delivered. I got um, this thing, which I just finished, which is like Bobo's PB&J, PB&J strawberry. It's, a, it's basically like a, it says it's a soft baked peanut butter oat crust with strawberry filling. It was good. It was different. And it was like, you know, less preservatives and things possibly. I don't know. I did get a lanyard today for Universal. So it is Simpsons donuts and the little Universal card holder, which doesn't really go with it, but it matches color wise. So I figured that might make my life slightly easier. I'm just looking for slightly easier things, but I did think about going to the parks today. I didn't end up doing that because they texted that my room was ready and I needed to take care of the luggage thing. But I am spent. Um, I'm not sure I'll leave the room again other than to get some food tonight, this evening. And I may go to Jake's or to Island's Dining Room, or I may just go get a sandwich at the little thing. I may even order room service. So I did try to break my money down into days. I still have about 40 something dollars left for today. Hmm. <sighs> A lot of that went towards Uber, but um, we'll see. However, I will say I did set money aside specifically for parking, both here and Valley Parking at Wilderness Lodge when I go, and now that's found money. So I may rework my budget a little bit for that, but I think they did take $600 out of my account, put it hold on it here for like 
$200 a night, I think he said. I need to check my account. That's a lot. Um, anyway, put a hold on that. So I'm trying to figure out my plan for tomorrow. I think early entry is at Islands of Adventure. And there's about five or six rides that are available. But one of them is Hagrid's. Hagrid's is the only one that Express Pass does not do. Um, and I've heard that when you do early entry and go to Hagrid's, you end up waiting for like three hours. So I may just not do that. I may just wait and go when the parks actually open. I don't know. It's going to be a hot mess, like waiting for transportation, but that's fine. That's the nature of the beast. So I don't know. I'm trying to figure out my plan. I thought about going to the parks tonight. I think I already mentioned that. Probably did. But anyway, I did take the water taxi, which is cool because you do the security before you get on the boat, kind of like you do with the monorail resorts at Disney World. You go through security before you get on the monorail. So you bypass security once you get to the security checkpoint. So that was kind of nice. It was just nice and pleasant. And everybody here has been very pleasant, very polite. Um, this room to me does have the same kind of like layout feel as Cabana Bay, but probably a little bit bigger. So it's definitely quieter. I can tell you that for sure. Because I think the pool, I don't know where the pool is in relation to me, but it's very quiet. I don't hear anything out this window. Cabana Bay was very loud. Um, you know, as the value resorts at Disney often are too. So anyway, I'm going to stop talking. That's just kind of a little update. If I end up doing anything fun, I'll show you. But I probably won't. Oh, the other thing I was going to mention. my uh, People have asked me, why are you doing a solo trip? I have always wanted to do a solo trip. I don't know why. Kind of to like prove something to myself. Strong, confident, independent woman. Copyright D, my last name that I'm going to say. Uh, 2024. Anyway, so I've had this plan since last summer and I don't, the way I'm feeling right now, I will never go on another trip without Kelly ever again for the rest of my, okay, that's a lie because I am in July, without Kelly or at least my mom and sister or at least my mom or sister for the rest of my life. So I just, I don't know. I, I anticipated feeling a little bit lonely and I think that's what this is. And I'm a little unsure what to do with myself. Um, but you know, it's a learning curve. Gotta have some growing pains, all that stuff. So it'll be fine. But I do miss Kelly a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So anyway, that's that for now. But I am, I'm doing it, solo trip. Uh, okay. So I didn't close out the vlog. Um, I ended up going to bed pretty early. I did get a sandwich over at the Tuk Tuk market. It was turkey and Havarti and it was pretty good, but the bread was a little soggy. So anyway, that was my first day and I hope you will stay tuned next week for my first full day at Universal, day two of this solo trip. Bye.